morning everybody I'm Kevin and I'm not childish but I'm looking at myself and now I'm thinking man I think I need a haircut last time I did it myself I had a hairstylist but she moved away they closed the store she was in you know, I was even going to interview her. She was gonna, I was going to try to start something new where I interviewed people. Um, but I put it off. I was afraid in any way in the end. It didn't work out. We're on our 10th installment of Why Me? And for those who don't know about it, it's a... Um, autobiography of my life based on experiences I've had I am actually trying to get tell every experience that my mind remembers and in my opinion if my mind remembers it then it must have had some kind of major effect on me I've realized that I've missed a ton of stuff up to now and actually this one we're going to start in high school and um, but I may try to you know fix that with another uh, in other words fill in the gaps where I forgot stories and stuff like that but I'm not too worried about that right now I want to get further along in my life where things you might say have more maybe have more meaning to other people you know and if nothing else at least it's a way for me to um to yeah i just forgot the word um to document my life you know so um what good it'll do i don't know but it kind of helps me out two things that um, seem to be changing in me that I think about right now going into high school was that I started actually either having respect for a teacher or not having respect based on their abilities to be a teacher and I don't know about other people, but in the way I looked at things through my 12 years of school, whatever they call that, regular school, not my college, 12 years of school, um, I only really have two teachers that I could put up on a pedestal. Uh, the one was a lady who dedicated her whole life to teaching in fact she never even got married funny thing was she was actually a friend of my great aunt who also dedicated her life to teaching and never got married um, name was Miss Banker but she when I was in school she only taught one class and that was algebra for one period because she was also the principal of the school and believe it or not this old lady could outrun anybody and if somebody did something wrong in the hallway even though it was crowded she'd rip down through there grab him by the back of the neck and down to the ground <laughs> go. but um, she taught me algebra and I had no interest I I didn't want to try but she nagged me if you will to the point that it was easier doing the work than it was to fight her and when I started doing that I did rather well and so I actually got something out of the class and I had to show her respect for that as a form of maturity for me the other uh, individual was in high school and he um, again was a teacher who was extremely extremely intelligent I can't remember his real name 
we called him parachute pants and uh, he just had a strange way of doing things he rode a motorcycle but he certainly didn't fit into the biker gang type he would put um, rubber bands around the bottom of his pants when he was riding so that they wouldn't get caught in the chain and things like that and on his old truck he had a sticker on the back well actually he hand painted he says the closer you drive the slower I go and he wasn't kidding <laughs> But he did the same thing. I got in his class. I don't want to explain all of it, but um, and he he just kept working with me. And really, it was physics. It's something I should have just wanted to do, but I felt like we were being cheated. Um, but he kept working with me, and finally, I gave in, and and then enjoyed the class, and had to say I appreciated his efforts. I had another teacher I liked, but he wasn't, he didn't instill wisdom into me. He just kind of didn't get in my way. One of the things though when I started high school is, is I was going to get machine shop and anything where I'd get to do welding and stuff like that like um, the ag class which I can't think of the real name for it um, and industrial arts even art class I was anxious to get into and and he was my machine shop teacher this guy that I was talking about but the, the neat thing about high school was is the other neat thing I mean was is that I could choose some classes and that made the biggest difference for me instead of being told this is what you're gonna do I sat there even though I had to choose my own English classes and I don't like English but the fact that I chose them was a completely different way of me feeling about the class and um, and I did so much better and actually enjoyed high school uh, quite a bit I didn't wake up dreading going I woke up ready to go but then I also expected more out of my teachers so I'm gonna cover a couple stories I guess we'll see how time goes here the first one that I um, ran in trouble ran into trouble with um, was my industrial arts teacher we were supposed to cover I believe four yes four subjects in the time that we're in there we were going to cover drafting woodworking electrical wiring of a house and small engines now I was in the cars and I was getting deeper and deeper into them and so the small engine was the part of the course that really interests me but this teacher was an idiot he liked just entertaining his students and really taught us very little he would um, make sexual comments and uh, everybody of course laughed except for me well I think there was others that didn't laugh and he was always off the curriculum if you brought in a Playboy magazine or any of the other you know nudie magazines um, he would give you a better grade I didn't like it and I noticed that it didn't look like we were going to get to small engines so one day I decide I'm gonna ask I raised my hand and he says yes Kevin I said when are we gonna get to small engines that's part of the curriculum you know um, 
and I really want to get involved in that. You know? And he looks at me and he says, are you bitching? I said, no, I'm not bitching. I'm wondering when we're going to get to him. He says, sounds like bitching to me. He says, go to the office. He threw me out for that. I go up to the office, talk to the vice principal. He tells me, he says, just stay out today. He says, and tomorrow, just go back to class. Don't worry about it. Well, the next day, I'm still stewing over it. Nowadays, we call that ruminating. I hate that word. Anyway, I, I decide I'm not going back. He's an idiot. He shouldn't be teaching. I don't want to waste my time. And so I go back to the office. The vice principal's not in, so I'm just sitting there waiting for him. And he comes back and says, what the hell are you doing here? You didn't get thrown out again. I said, no, I'm not going back. He says, what do you mean? I said, I'm not going back. The guy's an idiot. I said, he talks about this, that, blah, blah, blah. You know, I had to give him the whole story. And he says, well, what do you want me to do? I said, I didn't hire him. You know, and he said, would it do any good for you to, for me to get him out of class and let you tell him what you think? I said, yeah. I said, I guess. I wasn't smart enough to know it wasn't going to do any good, but anyway, they got him out of class, and of course, my tone was a lot less um, aggressive than it should have been, maybe, but I, I told him how I felt about him talking about sex and all this stuff when we actually have a class, and I said, I came here to learn. I chose that class, so that made it even more important to me. And um, he didn't say much, and vice principal thanked us both, and we went back to class. So from then on, I still had an attitude because I saw right away he wasn't going to change. And I did absolutely nothing for the rest of the year. Yet, I got B's on all my tests and everything. And I got a B for a final grade for doing nothing. Which shows how bad a teacher he really was. He was pitiful. I also had one other teacher like that. He taught me auto mechanics. And even though I'm not going to go into him very much, I will say that I attempted to do basically the same thing there. However, I had already pissed off the principal of the Votech. So when I went to complain about the teacher, I had, I got no sympathy. And in fact, he sided with the teacher and I realized that I was going to, I was walking on it. I needed to walk on eggshells from now on because I could be thrown out completely. If I didn't, you know, straighten up and fly their way. So there's the beginnings. Uh, there's my beginning of high school um, and another step in my quest for higher immaturity. Um, and, you know, my feelings on teachers. I, well, I'll wait. I'll tell you about my college teachers when we get to that so thanks for listening have a good day